then I get a notification on my phone from Canada Post saying that the duties they're charging on my package is Everybody and welcome back to my channel today I have another haul video but it's gonna be more of a review video because I have a few things to say today we're going to be talking about Janu I recently placed an order with them on December 26 so Boxing Day I placed an order with them on Boxing Day and it was delivered on January 9th to the post office if you guys don't know I am a medical laboratory technologist I'm sure you guys know that by now if you guys are familiar with my channel um, which means like I, I do like to wear scrubs to work I don't need to nor is it like a necessity but um, I feel comfortable wearing scrubs at work um, and if I just don't really want to wear my super nice clothes into work then you know it's always nice to have a cute pair of scrubs which is why I placed an order with them to begin with um, this is not my first time ordering with them it is my second time the first time that I ordered with them I had a pretty good experience um, it was a graduation gift from my mother to me um, so I placed the order and she paid for it and I think I had paid like 20 something dollars in duties because I am Canadian and Janu is an American website so we're gonna get into that a little bit um, further on into the video because I do have a couple of things to mention. I'm obviously not unfamiliar with duties or anything like that. You know, that's a story we're gonna get into. I got some tea, I got some tea that I, I kinda wanna like share with everybody. This is not sponsored, I paid for it with my own money. <laughs> I really did um, this is the box that it comes in and um, all of the pieces come in like a little plastic thingy like this and you'll get a list of all of the things that you ordered I ordered seven pieces and then it says like it says one of the pieces here is a thank you card I ain't never got that thank you card so I don't know what you guys are talking about also one of my one of my close girlfriends ordered from Janu at the same time that I did we both experienced the same problems um, and she didn't get a thank you card either so like I want to know why you was put in thank you cards when I get no thank you card thank you next but all jokes aside it's not really that big of a deal I just think it's a little odd that they would put that on there and not include it but anyways um, first I'm just gonna do a comparison of the first order like the old batch of clothes that I got versus the new batch that I got so if you guys want to just watch the new haul and the new try on just skip to I'll put it right here uh, skip to this timestamp and it'll take you straight to the haul here I have um, this is from the previous order so I ordered my very first order when I had graduated uh, university so that was in June I think and I got five pieces and I did get the thank you card this time so um, I just got uh, two pairs of pants and I like this set because I don't know if they had changed things they must have changed things but the material I can feel is a little different and I like that they had their little logo in gold in gold stitching so um, I'm not gonna go too much in depth of these old ones that I picked up only because I don't think that they're available to purchase anymore I couldn't find them on the website when I was looking because I actually like this one pair not the other one that I showed you but I wanted to get another pair of these um, but they were unavailable so I just don't think I should talk about them if you guys can't get them also these ones I do believe are still available so I will try these on for you um, I'm not quite sure of the name but these ones are also they have the little gold on them which is what I really love they don't have them on the new ones that I purchased which we'll talk about later um, this one I believe is the tulip top I could be wrong I'll put it here if I'm wrong um, I have this one in red and I also have it in white um, I don't really wear the white too too often only because it is a medical lab and I am a little afraid to get it stained by like blood and like I know that I should have thought about it when I purchased it but I, it was just like too cute for me to pass up kind of thing so I have the tulip top in both of those colors um, it's nice because they open like this um, and it also opens on the side here so that it's easy to take on and take off it's got pockets as well at the front um, and it's got a little nice flap so it's just like fashionable scrubs the other top that I got which I really love um, I kind of don't want to show you guys because I couldn't find it on the website and I don't know if you can still get it but I think the silhouette is called the what did I the peplum top it might be a variation of that 
It's got little grommets on the side here, and I just like how it has a little V. I wasn't able to find it on the website at the time that I purchased my new set, so this is all old stuff still. And it has the same like opening here at the side. By the way, I got all of my stuff in an extra small. I want to say that the material on the old stuff that I got, and it's not even that old, it's about like less than a year old. It's a lot thicker, I think. I don't know, it just feels more heavy duty in comparison to the new stuff that I got. It feels more lightweight, a little bit more flexible, but it feels thinner. I don't think necessarily that those are pros and cons. I just I just wanted to say that the fabric does feel different from the first time around. Um, but these ones have washed pretty well. Um, obviously, I don't like to wear them twice in a row because these are scrubs. Um, and I do deal with patient specimens. So anytime that I wear them, I come home, throw them in the laundry right away. Um, so I have washed these quite a few times. Um, I throw them in the dryer sometimes, sometimes, I don't know, I'm kind of weird, sometimes I'll hang them to dry, sometimes I'll throw them in the dryer, it really depends, but for the most part these hold up pretty well. So those are the old ones that I wanted to talk about. So now that all the old stuff is dealt with, I want to talk about the new stuff. The first one that I'm going to talk about is a set, I've actually worn these already, but don't worry, I've washed them, and this set right here is called the ladder lace set so the, the pant is obviously called the ladder lace pant and the top is called the ladder lace top um, and it's both in the color estate navy blue and they're both in extra small so this is the top and this lace actually is see-through obviously it's lace and it's on the arms as well and the side here opens up so you can get it on and off easily. The zipper is quite nice, it never really catches on anything. And the bottom is quite similar. It's got little lace detailing here in the pocket. Um, it's got it in the back pocket as well. And it's got side front pockets here, so I really love how their pants always come with so many pockets. And also they have their little logo here at the bottom in the same color as the actual fabric, which as I showed you guys in the old version, it was gold, which is what I really loved about it. That was like a tiny attention to detail that I really loved in the old version. And on the top as well, I completely just like didn't even notice it um, because it's the same color but it used to be gold on all of their stuff before which is a little sad to say because I mean I really enjoy stuff like that like little things it doesn't really matter but I mean it's cute I also got the ladder lace top in black and this is an extra small as well um, I don't really need to go through the details with you guys again but the little logo is here in the black um, and it's the exact same as that blue top that I showed you guys. The next thing that I got is a gray pair of pants. This is called the tie hem pant and I really like it because at the corners or at the leg here you can kind of cinch it, tie it so that it goes up on your leg and it's really nice because I'm 4'11 and I noticed with the two pants that I had bought from them previously in June they were both a little too long for me so I do have to fold them when I wear them. So this one I haven't worn yet. It's got two um, basic pockets at the back. It's got two at the front up here and then two on the side which is typically how I mean I guess their pants are and I like them because they are super stylish it's made of the same kind of like thin breathable material I don't really know how to how to call it and I also got that same pant in black I've already worn these it's already washed don't worry and I I don't know if you can tell but I've already like cinched these ones up so I've got two more to talk about this is called the darted v-neck top and this is the color royal blue i really love this one i love the cut of it i love the look of it i think it just really complements my figure really nicely it's got like little details at the front to kind of give the illusion that you're slimmer or whatever it's got two pockets at the front here which i really appreciate so this one doesn't have any zips at the sides to help you get it on and off but there is a big zipper a big gold zipper at the back and this one does zip really nice to, to help you get it on and off. It does have the Janu logo again in blue down here. And the last piece that I picked up, so I got all of those on as part of the Boxing Day sale. And I this is the, the only one that I purchased full price because of the color. Um, I've had my eyes on this color for the longest time. I love, you guys already know, like look at my room, look at it. I love the color pink. So when I saw that they had scrubs in this color i was like i'm getting it i don't care i'm gonna look like a pink ass princess at work and i believe this is 
the peplum top. This one is an extra small. It does have a zipper on the side here in gold, as you can see. It doesn't have one in the back though. And then it's got two pockets here at the front and the little Janu symbol here in the pink. So now that we've talked about the products a little bit, I do want to tell you guys about my experience. So my experience with Janu was not seamless to say the least. It was a little bit frustrating. It was a lot of back and forth, um, but at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is, and I think at this point, I probably will not be ordering from them again until they get their issue figured out. I bought seven of these items. Six of them were part of the Boxing Day sale. I bought one full price, so I think that in total accumulated to after the US to Canadian conversion, after like my bank, fees and everything like that. In total, what I paid for this order was $244.13 Canadian. So I paid like $35 Canadian for each item, which if you've ever bought scrubs, that's like generally how much scrubs cost if you're not going to like Giant Tiger and getting just like the $5 one. You do have to keep in mind that this is my profession, so I am going to be wearing these scrubs like all day, every day, um, every single time I go into work. So I'm basically living in scrubs. I do want like good quality scrubs that I also feel good wearing. So the only gripe that I have with that is that they are um, an American company and I do have to pay duties and everything like that, which sucks. It really does suck, but I mean, at the end of the day, you gotta do what you gotta do. Like I said, I ordered it on the 26th and I got it on the 9th. The last time that I ordered from them, I think sh shipping maybe took like a week. Although I do understand that it was Christmas time and like all the holidays and stuff, so I could understand. I have the Canada Post app on my phone and basically I put in the tracking number that they had given me and it was telling me where everything was and how long it was gonna take to get to me. Um, and it also told me how much duties I had to pay. So the first time that I ordered from Janu, I paid $20, $30 in duties maybe, which at the time for me, like I ordered maybe $200 worth Canadian of scrubs. So not that far off from what I had ordered this time around. Um, nonetheless, I still paid like $20 to $30 of duties, which sucks again. But I mean, like I knew that I had to pay them if I did, you know, get flagged for it for whatever reason. This time around, I was also expecting to pay anywhere from like 20 to 50 dollars of duties because it was a little bit more that I spent and I used the duty calculator on the Canadian government website and I put in like what I what it was that I was buying and you know I put in all of the information and the duties estimate estimated calculator or whatever um, gave me like $35 as a duties estimate and I was like okay $35 that's not bad um, so I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and then I get a notification on my phone from Canada Post saying that the duties they're charging on my package is $146 Canadian and it's some, something cents but I don't even remember what it was. So let me get this straight. I have to pay $245 for 7 pairs of scrubs. And then I also, on top of that, have to pay 146 Canadian dollars just to retrieve them. That makes no sense to me. Um, and I'm like, what the f like this? This has to be. This has to be an issue. This has to be a problem. It must not be right. So I also told my friend Angie, who who bought scrubs with me at literally the same time. Like, I think she spent a little bit less than me, 150 or something like that. Um, or maybe a little bit more, like 175, I don't know. She, she paid like over 100 for sure. So she paid like 90 something dollars in duties for her item and her item was damaged. <laughs> like she got like, I don't know, five or six tops or something like that and one of them was damaged. And she's like, and I didn't even get a thank you card. <laughs> So they had agreed to like send her another shirt or something and then like reimburse her half of the duties. That's her experience, not mine, but I just thought it would be informational for me to share. So when I got mine, I um, I was like, no, I, I'm, not, I'm not paying that much. I don't care how nice your scrubs are. I'm not paying $146 
in duties to get them and I know that that's not right so I emailed them and I said hi I want to let you know that this is what happened this is how much they're charging me in duties there's absolutely no way in hell I'm paying your duties I'm just not and um, so I want you to refund me my money and um, that's the end of that and obviously I was pretty upset my friend Angie was also very livid she was on the phone with customer service for a lot longer than I had talked to them the girl that I was talking to was very nice and very understanding she was like yeah I understand that those duties are pretty steep for you but it just turns out that our third party shipping company is the one that's charging out the ass for it and that's not something we can control and I'm like well don't you think that if you guys have an it like she told me that they've been having issues with this third party shipper that, that like overcharges um, their Canadian customers and I'm like if you have a problem with them why is it taking so long for you guys to do something about it like I just I don't understand so she told me that she would refund me like half of the duties that I paid she ended up refunding me $70 Canadian um, which I mean isn't quite half but I'm like you know what it's fine I've learned a lesson um, no matter how nice these scrubs are I'm just not gonna ever order from them again until they get their shit together which how would I even know that unless I place another order with them which I'm not gonna in conclusion do I love the scrubs yes I absolutely love the scrubs I think they're very good quality I think um, they're very fashionable I think uh, I always get compliments on them in the workplace um, but would I recommend them to my coworkers and to my friends that are Canadians I always say no don't bother don't bother buying these scrubs even though they're nice I know that you could, I know you like them but it's not worth it you're gonna be paying out the ass for duties it's not worth it and it's not worth the hassle it's not worth the time just don't bother but for anybody that lives in the states that actually you know wants to get them and isn't going to be charged out the ass for shipping and duties yeah i do recommend them like i think they're very nice scrubs and i think that you would really enjoy them so i hope that this kind of helps you i can't speak for international purchases please don't ask me about that i can only speak about like shipping to Canada because I'm in Canada. All I know is I was charged way too much, way, way too much in duties. Like I told you, I literally went on the government website and I understand that it's an estimate and I know it's just like, you know, like it's not, it's not a final be all end all kind of calculator, but going from $35 estimated to like 146 like that na that makes no sense the janu service rep that was helping me was telling me like yeah that money doesn't even go to us it's just charged by our shipping shipping company she, she basically just said oh yeah we'll check if you you've been overcharged by rr donnelly and we'll refund you the difference well they only refunded me half judging by like all of the websites that I've looked at, all of the forums I've read, all of like the government website pages that I looked at, I definitely still feel overcharged. I feel like I wasn't fully compensated. I don't think that co them covering half, like I feel like I shouldn't have had to pay that much in duties, but like, you know, like I said, it's a lesson learned. I paid $74 to learn a lesson. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I know it was a super long one, but I hope it was really informative. Um, like I said, I wanted to make one of these because I haven't seen one done super in depth yet. So hopefully this helps. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Natural disasters, my baby has been around. For me, kingdoms have fallen, angels be called.